Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to quickly show you how to SSH into GitHub. Let's kick things off by taking a look at my GitHub repository. You can see I've got a rock, paper, scissors repository over here, and I want to clone it using SSH, but boom, if I click on that SSH link, it humiliates me. It says you don't have any public SSH keys in your GitHub account. So that means I have to go over and create some, or at least push some up to GitHub if I don't have some already. You might have some already. So why don't you CD into your SSH directory and do a little, don't do dir, do a little ls command. And sadly, I've got nothing in here, which means I need to create some SSH keys. It's easily done, especially if you're using Ubuntu, just do ssh-keygen. Throw the dash O command in there, a little dash T as well. Tip your hat to RSA and specify your email address. What's mine? I think mine's github at mcnz.com. It then says, enter the file in which to save the key. I'm just gonna keep it right in that SSH directory. It's gonna ask for a passphrase. I can never remember a passphrase, so I'm just gonna leave it blank there. And then it's gonna give me this crazy little output there that's gonna help me remember my key. That's a beautiful little graphic, although I don't really need that. What I need is the content of that key. I'm gonna do a little ls command. You can see that there's the public key and the private key that's already created for me. What's important to me right now is taking that public key and its contents and getting it up to GitHub. I'm gonna keep this private key private. I'll give this public key to GitHub. And if GitHub's got this public key, anytime I do a GitHub command, I try to push or pull or clone, uh, maybe pull's not that important, um, but certainly do something that needs a, an authenticated username and password, uh, GitHub is automatically gonna look into this folder. Well, SSH is gonna look into this folder and pass my credentials to GitHub. But I need this file. So I'm gonna cat it, C-A-T, ID underscore R-S-A dot pub. And that's just gonna show me the contents of the file. And I'm gonna copy that aggressively. I'm gonna do it twice, even do it three times. As I said, I'm not taking any prisoners on this copy here. That's my key. Now I need to mosey over to the settings in my GitHub account. Take a look at the SSH and GPG keys link and say, add a new SSH key. I'll paste that SSH key in there. Make sure it starts with SSH-RSA. And I'll call this Cameron's key. Add this as the SSH key and I will no longer be shamed by GitHub, if I come over here and take a look at my rock, paper, scissors directory, come over here, click on SSH, <laughs> there's no little error message here anymore telling me that I don't have any SSH keys. I have got them in plenty. So now what do you do after you've added your SSH key? Well, I guess you can copy this SSH link. It's now copied and you can go into your terminal window. I'm actually gonna create a, a new terminal window simply by clicking on new window here. I'm now in my home directory and I'm gonna be aggressive here. I'm gonna do that git clone command and look at this. I'm gonna use that special SSH notation to try and clone that rock, paper, scissors repository. I'll click enter, and of course, Git is not installed. So why don't we install Git? That's just a quick little operation here. So sudo apt install Git. Don't tell anybody that I didn't have Git already installed on my computer. I would get in a lot of trouble from the, uh, the Git authorities if anybody knew that. And okay, now we are installed. What would I can do? A Git version command. Do I need two dashes there? I always forget. And yeah, Git is now installed. Now let's try this Git command again. Git clone using that SSH URL. 
and it says, hey, we're not too sure about these GitHub people. I'm not too sure about them as either, but I'm going to do the clone. I'm going to do the pull. I'm going to bring all of those files down. And you can see now I've got that rock, paper, scissors in my local directory. If I CD into it, I haven't bought a CD in years. Paper, scissors. And we can see there's the game. There's the palm. You even got a, a tip of the hat to Rico over there. And you can see that matches all of the files in my repository over here on GitHub. And there you go. Those are the keys, literally the SSH keys, those are the keys to going into GitHub and doing an SSH from your Ubuntu machine onto the GitHub server. And there you go. Now, if you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to SSH into GitHub, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. I got lots of great articles on enterprise software, DevOps, Git, and programming in general. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at Cameron MCNZ and, and subscribe on the YouTube.